Hi, this is Mike, found with DIY TV, and today I'm with my outdoor Sonance powered by Sonos sound system. I'm really excited. This system comes with like a box, it's all kind of included, like the old back in the day home theater things, but it's two speakers and a Son uh, Sonos amp. This is the powerhouse of the complete unit. It's actually a really good deal. These are around 700 bucks a piece by themselves, and then Around, it's like around a thousand bucks you get this whole kit. The only thing the kit doesn't come with, which is not really a big deal, is speaker wire. So you have to go out and you have to reach out to someone and find some speaker wire. I'll put a link to this stuff down below. Um, this was actually recommended uh, by someone in, that works on this stuff every single day. Um, so I'll put a link to this down below. So you, want, you need some speaker wire. But other than that, it's a pretty much complete unit. And today we're going to install it. Uh, this is the mount that actually holds the speaker to the wall. Really neat mount. Uh, very, very strong. I was really impressed. Um, there's a lock and unlock. If you unlock it, you're able to easily adjust it. If you lock it, of course, it stays in place. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to mount this up onto the ceiling up there. I have a little bit of, I may have to make a block for my installation, but most likely your installation won't need that. Um, I just needed a flat surface to install this. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the speakers up there. Let's do it. Okay, so the screws that came with are these little short ones. They're not long enough. So I'm gonna use these uh, GRK cabinet screws. Um, and the reason why I'm gonna use them is because they're flat on the end and it'll allow, allow me to get a good connection to the wall. And it'll also allow me to go through everything and actually hit uh, wood uh, to attach it. So first step is we're gonna get up there and attach this. Okay, so this is going to be a little tough, but because every installation is going to have its own custom uh, challenges. So what I did was I didn't want my mount to go below this, so I kind of figured it out. I put a little straight edge in there, and I said, okay, I want my mount to be there. And then I figured out how far I wanted it off the wall, and I made a mark up here. Okay, and that's my center point. All right, so now if I got my center point, I can now take my block. As you can see, I needed a block here. I can put this block up. Oh my God, sweating. And you're just putting up speakers. So I'm gonna just dry fit it now. Like I said, it just slides in. These little holes up here. See the little mounts? Perfect. You can yeah. them. Just pull these clips up, pull this one down. Speaker comes slides right out. And now we gotta do the wiring. So now we're gonna put the wire in. I always run my speaker wires, all kinds of things long. So there's actually a nice rubber grommet down here. It's actually, it's very well built. So before you strip any wires, you just shove that through. Rest. Now I am, I would say fairly new to this, um, to speaker game. You know, I'm not um, an audio file or anything like that. But I did a lot of research. Um, I really didn't want to go with Sonos. Um, I just thought it was too too much of an easy solution. Uh, it was kind of just, but I went to so many places and every place I went to, I went to all kinds of these high-end um, music places. They always, they came back and said, your solution is Sonos. So that's what I'm doing. That's what we're going with. We're going with Sonos. So we're gonna be doing Sonos all over the house actually. This is the first, this is actually this, the first um, set that we're doing. So I'm gonna have a whole house system. So like I said earlier, if you're into that um, type of stuff, consider subscribing for more content. Push it down, push in a hole, let go. Again, on the other side, All right, so now we moved inside. We're actually in the basement. Um, I ran my wires down and I poked them through the hole. I'll show you that, I'll pop that up. And I always run myself long, like I said, just to make it easier to work with. 
and I marked it. So this one is the right and this one is the left. So the way that Sonos actually does it is, it's kind of weird, they have these little clips. I think it's so that you can easily set this up, but you connect your wire to this and then you plug it in. So, oh, it's pretty neat. Uh, seems like, I mean, I don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna strip these wires and connect them in, plug it in and listen to it. Let's go. Got our wires stripped, um, which you, you can see on here. It's got a red and a black, and a red and a black. So we're just gonna simply install it. Unscrew it. Put the wire through. And tighten down. Wired. All right, so we got it all wired up. Let's see if it works. Let's back up. Take a look. So I'm gonna go to the go to the Sonos app. Wow. You definitely hear it. You can hear it from here and from here. All right, so now we're gonna finish up the install. So the last two things, we have a cap and then we have the grill to put on. So we're gonna put these on. All right, so that's the install. That's the end of the video. Um, I want to thank you for your time. We're not done out here, though. We're going to be putting a TV. We're going to be tying that into the actual Sono system. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Also, please give me a like. I'd really appreciate that. But I'm Mike from Family DIY TV, and I'm out. Yeah, how can I do it?